Yo, 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 what is up, guys? We are back. It is 2022. I have yet to do a video for this year and for this thing. The old road glide. You guys haven't seen it in action yet. It's crazy, man. I've been really busy, um, obviously, with the holidays going on. Um, just haven't had time to really get out and uh, actually ride this thing, but I've ridden it a few times, getting comfortable on it finally. It's definitely a different machine from the Dynas and stuff, which I'll get into later. Um, but right now, me and my girl, we're gonna go uh, take a little spin on the old road glide here. Uh, maybe hit a spot and uh, do a few, few wheelies, you know? Maybe get a few burnouts, drifts in. We'll see what happens. And then, uh, I don't know. We might go grab some food or something. But uh, it's Sunday fun day. Um, just chilling today. So it's a beautiful day out here in Phoenix. And we're going to go rip this thing. So uh, stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoy. And uh, we'll get to it. So as you can see, guys, this thing's still a little bit under construction here. Uh, I still don't have a windshield on it. Uh, I'm debating on putting a stereo in it just because of the weight distribution. Um, putting a stereo in it obviously is going to make the front end a lot heavier. And I just don't know if I want to do that. Um, so I'm just debating. Hello, guys. So I'm still just debating on that. So for now, those holes will be open. And none of my gauges work because I don't have any of them hooked up at the moment. Um, the reason being was just because I was trying to get this thing going down the road and off the lift. And uh, I just wasn't worried about all that. And obviously... I made sure that there's oil pressure and stuff, so it's been doing pretty good. This is a solid bike. Um, this is actually the first bike that I have pretty much built by myself from uh, frame up, kinda. I got it as a roller. Um, I had to piece it together. I bought this 10 set off of a buddy from out here.
their uh, fuel pump and cam plate, all that jazz, all that good stuff. Um, obviously, I went with their uh, their valve spring kit and all that as well. Um, so this thing's a runner. It's, it's a real good motor. It's a 95. Um, it's smooth power. It's not too gnarly. Um, my Dyna is way gnarly. This thing is way smoother. Um, I really enjoy this this build a lot. Um, so yeah, it's kind of like the breakdown on this thing. I'll definitely get more into detail on that. That's just kind of brief brief information for you guys. Um, all right, so we are uh, about to get going on some wheelies here. Uh, hopefully not scrape the rest of those off. That's becoming an issue. I gotta figure that out. But <clears throat> show you guys what it looks like in the seat of this thing. Uh oh. A lot of people are probably going to ask me uh, what the difference is between, or what the the feeling difference is between uh, Dyna and the Bagger. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'd probably see a post that I posted probably a few weeks ago that was like kind of explaining a little bit about this thing, and they are way easier to wheelie it's just uh getting them up is the hard part but once they're up there they are so smooth i can see why a lot of guys ride these things because they're just smooth as butter scraping already first wheelie love this thing man this is one of the smoothest bikes i've honestly ever ridden and it honestly, like, I say it, it's hard to bring it up, but considering the fact that these things weigh, I don't even know how much, <laughs> um, it's not that bad. But if you're not used to, like, racking up a Harley, it's definitely going to be difficult. Um, but yeah, these things are just a blast, man. I love it. Uh, I'm still getting just comfortable on it. You know, we're just getting into some hand drags, getting some no-handers in. I really want to double hand drag this thing. That's like my goal. But it's just, I'm, I'm just working my way up to it. I don't want to, I don't want to dive straight into that. So.
difficult. Also helps me um, actually continue to do it. So uh, yeah, guys, I appreciate it. Everyone that helps with that, with hitting that like, all the subscribers, I appreciate it. Sean's house. He lives up in those neighborhoods right over there. Man, what good times that was. No worries. Just ripping 110s. Back before they were, uh, they weren't even really that popular back then. Now, obviously, people knew about them and people rode them, but man, once, uh, once Twitch got a hold of, uh, of this 110 man they exploded crazy hey babe no complaints
sure if I could get out easier over there. 